Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to do a floating bloom. I'm back up here in my studio doing those floating blooms now. And I've got a couple of different ideas. I'm trying to find, still find the best camera angle. So I'm going to be experimenting a little in this video. So, but I've got, some, I got a, an interesting color palette. I'm just trying to use up some colors. So we're going to have some fun with that today. So let's go get started. Okay. We are going to go over the colors, the saw activator, the pillow, and then we'll get started painting. So, and I've got kind of a mishmash of colors here. I like to do that sometimes, especially when I'm using up colors that have been sitting around for a while. I like to see what will happen. You never know. Sometimes it doesn't turn out, but other times you get a nice surprise. So we're going to do that today. I've got uh, Golden Fluid Iridescent Bright Gold, one of my most favorite golds. So it looks like in the container. And, and these are all mixed up with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. And if you want to see what that is, the pictures for all the containers will be at the end of the video and detailed description of everything used is in the description box below the video. This one's getting a little bit thick on me, but still fluid enough. We're going to roll with it. So there is that one. And then I've got my Joe Sonia Black Umber. Been using this a lot lately. There's that one. And then I've got the Praj Posse's Antique Copper Metallic. That's what it looks like in the container. This is one of my one of my favorites. I just love the the shimmer on that. It's so pretty. There's that one. Now, when I show you the consistencies, you know, it's just so you have an idea. It doesn't need to be exact. It could be a little bit, you know, thinner or even a slightly thicker as long as they're, you know, relatively the same and they're thinner than your pillow, but yet thicker than your cell activator. That's always what we want to go for here. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, exact. Where this is, but as I always say, this is painting, not baking. All right, my next color is I've got the Golden Heavy Body. This is Interference Gold. And this is what it looks like. Again, these are all Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. You can see kind of the shimmer there. This, again, if you're not uh, familiar with Interference colors, they, you know, they kind of have a white cast, but you can see that, that gold color shift or that gold kind of sparkle in there. When it dries... It doesn't dry white, it dries with kind of a gold cast and you can see it's uh, easier on darker colors. It's a little bit more secretive on lighter colors. And then my next color is I've got Arteza's Bordeaux Red. It's that one. This one I think has been mixed up for a while. I used it for something else and forgot I had it. <laughs> There's that consistency. And then finally, I've got Golden Fluids Teal. Kind of what that looks like there. And this is what we have mixed up again. This, is, this has been sitting around a while, so it kind of did get thick on me. It's cooler in here finally. So those are all the colors we're going to use. And my cell activators, I've got two cell activators. They are both mixed with Australian Floetrol at four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. The one part paint for this black, I'm actually using Amsterdam Oxide Black today. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm always using the Atelier, but sometimes that can be too thick when it's uh when it's cooler in my studio amsterdam tends to thick to amsterdam tends to mix up a little bit thinner and so if you can see the consistency it's well to me it's thinner thinner than my atelier so we're going with the amsterdam today and i notice a lot of amsterdam paints mix up thicker uh, than the Atelier when I'm using those for either with my pouring medium or my cell activator. So, you know, it's just different brands, different lines. And this is my usual gold. If you've seen my, my other videos, you'll know I like to mix up two golds to make up the one part paint. You don't have to, it's just personal preference. But uh, I use the Atelier Interactive Pale Gold mixed with PBO Studio Acrylics Precious Gold to get this gold here. So again, these are the two cell activators we're going to use today. And then my pillow. 
My pillow is my normal pillow, the PPG Multi Pro. This is usually on the thicker side than you, if you've watched my other videos, I, I will switch between the PPG Multi Pro and the Glidden Premium in satin. Sometimes this, especially when it gets cooler, it gets too thick for me to use and then I switch over to the satin. It's slightly thinner. So that's another reason why I have two. And sometimes I just use both. I want a thinner one even in the summertime, but this is getting back to its normal thickness. For me, it was a lot thinner uh, in the summertime. So we're going to go with the PPG Multi Pro today. So now we're going to head over to the canvas and I'm going to explain what we're going to do today. All right, for this piece, I've got a 16 inch square canvas gallery wrapped and I've got it taped up on the back here. What we're going to do is we're going to do a floating bloom. I know we're kind of in a different area here. Normally I start on the bench or, well, yeah, actually normally I start on the bench, but I wanted to try something different since I'm back up in my studio doing these. I wanted to do the initial background swipes in, uh, in the spinner box here, and then we'll bring it over to the bench just to see. I'm trying something a little bit different here, so bear with me. So I'm going to get this canvas flooded and we'll get started painting. All right, I've got this all flooded. We are going to use this to put the initial background swipes on. So I'm going to get this loaded up. We're going to use the gold cell activator. So I'm going to get this loaded up and I'll show you. Like so, just a thin layer. We're going to go I'm going to start up top here. All right, I am digging how that is coming in. I actually did not dig into the canvas this time, but I did have a couple of bare spots. And if, if you find that you've kind of swiped too much white, you can always go back in with a smaller one and just kind of add as you saw me do. So now we're gonna head on over back to the bench and we're gonna put our bloom colors in here and blow that out. I am gonna start with the gold in the middle here. We're gonna have a lot of gold in this piece. I want lots of nice subtle shimmers i don't need too much though because we've got a lot of paint we're going to be putting on with this bloom <clears throat> i've got the black umber And then the antique copper metallic. Might have to recenter this a little. <laughs> All right, we've got the interference gold. Gold, gold, and more gold. And we've got the red. Last, but certainly, certainly not least, the teal. You notice I put these two together. Why? Because they make purple. <laughs> there. All right, I'm gonna put the gold cell activator on first. I'm gonna use both. Like I said, we've got a lot of gold. <laughs> I want this baby to shimmer and then we're gonna put the black cell activator on. That should be plenty. I hope I didn't put too much on, but here we go. I'm gonna blow this out carefully.
All right, I'm gonna let this fill in and we are going to modify this bad boy. So the one thing you have to remember when you move it back over from the bench to the spinner box is to turn your camera on before you modify. <laughs> so here I thought you were with me as I was modifying this. I know you've seen me modify uh, my floating blooms a million times before. You can go check out one of the other videos, but this just turned out so cool. We're going to continue on with this video and I have a lesson learned you know, if I continue going with this view where I move it back and forth. Turn the camera on, Jody. <laughs> so at any rate, let me show you what this looks like up close before we spin it out. I mean, it just turned out really cool and it came, those cells came in really nice. And so now we're gonna spin this out and I feel so bad that you didn't get to see me modify it, but we're just gonna, we're gonna motor on and we're gonna persevere. So let's, this is all, I think this is nice and centered. Let's start spinning. Yep, that one pedal, this one pedal, I had a feeling might be, <laughs> might be chasing out in front of others, but that's okay. We're just going to keep going. I'm going to, I'm going to spin another couple times until, and then guide it as I see fit. Mm, it's going to open up nicely. I can feel it. Hooey. Okay, you know what? One more spin. going just a little bit over here this way this needs to stretch out a bit more I'm gonna put this over this way a little spin. Oof. yes yes I still want more out of you I've still got to get these down here stretched out just a little bit more Too lopsided. They're starting to stretch out more. I'm going to bring this in just a little. Still got a little bit more spinning to do. I'm going to give it a nice healthy spin. This way. Nice healthy spin this way. Oof. Yeah, this is this is coming in nicely. A little bit more. Just a little bit more this way. Let me see if I can move it down. Just a little lopsided, but I love how it's opening up. I want to do one more spin. I'm barely getting any movement on here. Uh, I don't want to overspin, but I want one more. One more good spin, and I think we're there.
Yep, we're there. I actually like it on the diagonal, just like this. I think that is so super cool. I did get a little bit of lopsidedness, but you know what? I'm not mad about it. I love the colors and the play and the cells. I love everything about this piece. So I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right, here it is as a whole. I'm, I'm coming at, at it from a different angle because it was a shadow coming down. So I'm just gonna dive right in and you can, with that light up there, you can kind of see the gold, how it's sparkling already. This. I expect lots of shimmers from this piece. I love these cells right here. I didn't get a lot of cells in the middle, but you know what? I'm not, not mad about it because all these cells that kind of came in through the petals, I love the movement. I am really excited to see how that dries. I love this spiral with all those colors in there. So pretty. This this turned out so super cool. I wasn't sure about the, the colors. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, no, I think these will be fine. But I was like, ooh, we'll see. <laughs> I know some of you have commented that as well. I'm not sure about those colors, Jode. <laughs> Me either. Ah, it'll be fine. But that's half the fun. So, But this turned out so super cool. We did get a little bit of a lopsided angle here but I'm not mad about it. I, I actually really like it on the diagonal, but I am so excited to see how this dries. So I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. All right, here's this piece all dry. I do have it on the diagonal because that is my favorite orientation, but we'll check out uh, a few more uh, in a few minutes. I kind of wanted to just dive in and show you some of the details uh, up close before we looked at the shimmers and all that good stuff. So. So here it is. I love the pattern of the background and just all these different interesting cells in here. I love that I didn't get a lot in the center. Usually sometimes I'll get bubblicious cells. It depends, a lot of it depends on how you're blowing and the thickness of your paints. And my paints have been a bit thick. So the middle has been a struggle. It's always something. It's either too thin, too thick. I still struggle with it myself, but I love those. Those are so cool. Oh, and the background is just so pretty. These colors dried really nicely. I wasn't completely sure. There's my purple <laughs> with the two color mix. You can kind of see the shimmer of that background too. Uh, and this, this looks like one of those, um, oh, they call it a devil's purse. I used to live in Florida and uh, combing the beach. I think it was the shark eggs. It kind of looked like one side of, they called it the devil's purse <laughs> when you found it on the beach. But at anyway, I digress. Let's go check out some of these shimmers and then the orientations. Yes, I wanted gold shimmers in here and I definitely got it. The background and then the bloom has a lot as well <clears throat> from the gold we put in there, but also the interference. This just dried really nice. I love how chaotic it is, yet it is kind of quiet until you get right up on it. So pretty. All right. Let's go check out some orientations. You saw my favorite diagonal. I think this is my favorite uh, uh, straight way of hanging it on the wall, but let's, let's turn it a few times. This one's nice, too. I like the uh, background going uh, vertically as well. Let's check out the next. This one's not bad also. This one's nice too, but you know what? I'm really partial with the diagonal. I'd love to hear your favorite orientation on this piece. It can go a few different ways. I'm gonna flip you around now for my final thoughts. That was definitely a fun piece. And again, I'm sorry that you didn't get to see the modifications. I feel so bad about that, but <laughs> I'm trying to find the, uh, the best camera angle and sometimes you forget to turn the camera back on as <laughs> you're moving it and trying not to drop it in your piece. <laughs> the struggle is real. Oh, but I do have, and I, and I do like doing it in the spinner box because I plan to go bigger with these. I, that was a 16 inch we did and I've got 18 inch and I have a 20 inch that has been staring at me for quite a while. So <laughs> those will be forthcoming at some point, but I want to hear what you thought of this piece. How'd you like the uh, orientation and the color palette? So let me know in the comments below with that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.